So Katie's mom and grandma were just here. And they brought us another fruit tree. So now we have a peach tree and a cherry tree. And I think out front there's two little apple trees. Um, the peach tree is pretty big. It uh, has little a little it had a little peach on it so he picked it off but I think there's there was a little peach on it anyways so now I gotta find a spot to plant that I think we'll probably plant it over on the I guess it'd be south side of the house where we're gonna have the garden plant it over there like a row of trees over there fruit trees um, before they showed up, the boys and I uh, walked around the property and picked up all the odds and ends lumber that, uh, that was around. And I'm going to take all that and turn it into a chicken coop. Um, I decided the one of the sheds that I cleaned out that had pigeons and I think rabbits in it. I cleaned that out. We're going to use that as a chicken coop, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. It turned out to be a really nice um, shed, and it's kind of right in the pen area. It's like inside the pens. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that one into milk house. Goat milk. Katie wants to milk goats, wants to get some goats to milk and make cheese and all that kind of stuff. So here's the shed. Oh, come on. Ow. Smash my finger. Come on now. Use your muscles. Oh, there we go. So. That's the shed. Inside of the shed. Um, this is way clean compared to what it was. There's probably a foot of straw and crap inside there. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bleach everything and then paint it. And that's gonna be the milk house. Put all the milking equipment milking station for the goat to get in bench all that kind of stuff um, funny enough this is one of the only sheds that doesn't have power to it so I'll have to run power to it more than likely to just be an extension cord so I can do that and that's easy and there's there's a power right right in this shop or uh, stable part here right on the beams up there so I'll probably just run an extension cord from from right there over oh no look there's there's a box right there too so I'll probably just go from there over into that next shed because that's 10 feet so that'll be easy but have a light have the pump, milker, automatic pumper. Uh, I doubt I'll be able to get a sink in there, but maybe someday. So now I'm gonna start working on the chicken coop with all this scrap lumber. Um, I plan on making it pretty big because we want to have a lot of a lot of chickens. So till next time.